Hello and welcome to the Relocation Agent Network National Property Market Review and here's what's been happening across the UK property market. Start as you mean to go on. Property prices have moderated and while demand remains across the market, sensible and realistic initial pricing impacts on a sales success. Data from Rightmove indicates that properties that experience a price reduction are 10% less likely to go under offer. They are also on the market for more than double the time before they go to sold subject to contract. After a period in which property prices have risen sharply, sellers can be overly optimistic in their expectations. Experienced and knowledgeable agents will price the property for the current market. Latest research by Zoopla indicates that average reduction on initial asking price at the point of sale is 3.8%, although more than 40% of recent sellers have accepted offers of 5% or more below. So if you're downsizing, how do you spend your equity? Well, over 8.1 million owner-occupiers in England and Wales now own their homes outright. This constitutes 52% of owner-occupiers rising to over 90% of those aged 65 or more. Based on sales price data from the land registry, downsizing from a four or more bedroom home to a two bedroom apartment could release on average over £250,000. The amount varies by region. While freeing up under-occupied homes would help ease some of the housing stock issues in the market, downsizers will also reduce their outgoing costs and in many cases would be left with a large pot of equity. Such equity could be used to launch children onto the housing ladder, to purchase an investment property, a holiday home or to take a holiday of a lifetime or just boost a pension pot. Independent financial advice should always be sought before making such important decisions. Playing the long game, the ashes are over for another year, but with the cricket season still very much in play, we take a nostalgic look at the changes in the housing market over the previous series. Last time England won the ashes was eight years ago in 2015 at home, and since then we've seen the average house price increase by 31% across England and Wales, with an average annual growth rate of 3.8%. Between series, the strongest growth occurred between the 2002 and 2005 Ashes with a 20% uplift and an England win at home, which included the famous Edgebaston test and the urn after 16 years. The slight dip in growth during the 2010-11 series occurred at the same time as a rise in inflation rate, which hit 4.5%. This was the first time in 24 years that England had won the Ashes in Australia. And in the investment market, portfolio landlords are still looking to expand. More than a quarter of landlords who own five or more properties are planning to increase their portfolio over the next year, while one in five who have two to five properties are also planning to expand, according to Rightmove. Over half of landlords are planning to keep their property portfolios consistent or increase the number of properties that they own. Single property landlords are more likely to be looking to leave the sector. Published in 2022, the English Private Landlord Survey of 2021 found that 18% of landlords owned five or more properties, but such landlords represented 48% of all tenancies. A Property Academy survey of close to 6,000 landlords indicated that over three quarters of landlords owed less than half the value of their portfolio on their buy-to-let mortgages. Landlords with lower loan-to-value mortgages are less impacted by the current market volatility. And whilst demand for rental properties remains high, the average length for an initial rental contract in quarter two of 2023 was 12.7 months, up from 10.5 during the same period in 2019. Renters are planning to stay for longer in part due to low levels of stock and rising rents in the open market. Renters are looking to remain in their properties for the longest amount of time in London, where competition between renters is extremely tight. One of the most significant proposals in the Renters Reform Bill is the end of the fixed term assured shorthold tenancies. Renter contracts are set to be open-ended, allowing more flexibility for renters in the long run. And that's all for our market update for this month. 
As ever, if you'd like to find out what's happening locally to you, please contact your local Relocation Agent Network member who'll be happy to assist. Thank you for watching.